And now for a brief history of cheese. Cheese was first invented in Siberia in 1864. Before that, the world lived in a sad world without cheese, where there was no cheese because it hadn't been invented. The inventor of cheese was a man named Johann von Sunderfurf. Johann von Sunderfurf invented cheese after he had a dream where he foresaw the great world after the invention of cheese, where all the children ate cheese with their eggs for breakfast every day. Cows make eggs and milk. Weed is an avid cheese eater. Now, as we're all aware, cows are the originators of both cheese and eggs, but what is little known fun fact, their third udder, also known as the middle eye of udders, is where we get almond extract. Now, almond extract is used in a lot of things. It's used in quiches, it's used in cake, it's used in the making of steak, but a lot of the times we also put it in different cheeses, such as avocado cheese and parmesan. There's a difference between cheese and cheese extract. Cheese comes from milk, but the cheese extract comes from a plant. And it was only Sir Johan who was the one who first thought of combining the cheese extract with the pseudo cheese from the milk. Pseudo cheese is what's derived when the milk separates as a curdle. The pseudo cheese separates up to the top, and then it derives into the cheese extract because the cheese extract is from the plants. It derives into the pseudo cheese, which you combine with the cheese extract that is extracted from the plants. What's and the name of the plant, sir? Oh, it's called the cheese plant. That's where we get the word cheese That's from. That's stupid. I know. The word cheese was used for cheese because it, it comes from the Siberian word cheap, which is from the Greek cheer, which means happy or cheer. And he thought, oh, the little children will be so happy when I make them this cheese. Now we all have cheese because of Sir Johan and his dedication to making small children happy with cheese. And what's the relationship between eggs and cheese? Both come from cows. The cheese comes from one udder and the eggs come from the other udder. So it was only natural that we should create cheese from the cow as well. We eat all parts of the cow now. There was a long dark period in history where we did not eat all parts of the cow and the milk just went to waste because we didn't know how to make it into cheese so we just dumped it on the ground when the cows gave it to us. We we're like fuck dude I don't know what the hell to do with this. Why did the cow give me this shit? And we we're like fuck you cow and the cow was like fuck you you gotta figure out something to make with Now Sir Johan was born in 19 in a little Siberian town known as Russia. Russia is named after cows if you think about it. If we're going to be talking about cheese, we have to talk about the origin of cows. We think that cows are mammals, but really, cows come from these holes in the ground. They're called umlauts, and cows rise out of from the earth, and they create like a shell, very similar to how eggs are formed. And when they break out of the shell, they break up fully formed. What we think of baby cows are actually baby snakes. The Greeks really knew a lot more about this. Now, in Greek mythology, Hercules. Since Weed and I live in such a rural part of Alaska, it's hard for us to go on location a lot of the time, but we have a rare treat for you today. Since the Bering Land Bridge collapsed, but we can still kind of get across the island, so we came across to Siberia today, and we're gonna show you Johan's house. A rare treat kind of like cheese the most popular of rare treats most of the house doesn't remain since it was so long ago but the foundation is still here along with some of sir johan's belongings it was a pretty big mansion it's fenced off because it's, it's a rare historical site but we got a special treat today we got permission to go inside and we're going to show you around now though it looks antiquated by modern standards this was sir johan's toilet that he himself shit upon welcome to my crib <laughs> it's just a joke. I don't live here. Sir Johan did. This was Sir Johan's bedroom on this side and study on this side. This is where he conducted his original research on cheese. Since there were some ancient techniques that were very similar to cheese that he based it upon, there's a lot of ancient Sumerian texts that he went through. He spent years researching before he began any experimentation on cheese. This is where the idea of cheese was really conceived and concepted to begin with. I know it's out here and exposed to the elements, but they thought that it would be best to leave everything where it was just to preserve the historical context of it all. So some of Johann's original experiments on cheese were first out here and they are left here to this day. This was the very first attempt at cheese. We're not going to touch it because this is an important historical artifact. The first time he tried to make cheese, you know. We all know the quote from Lady Gaga, I didn't find one way to make a light bulb, I found a hundred ways not to make a light bulb. Johan worked under much the same suspicions as she did. He didn't make cheese, he made really bad cheese, but that's how ideas begin. Now if you come over here, you can see where the dining room
I touched it. Now, later in his life, Johan did gain a lot of popularity from his cheese, and he became rich and famous, and most of his house became cheese-themed, which is where his income came from because it was all cheese-themed. Most of his money was actually from selling merch. 